All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and get started with Thursday. So we have, what is the value of four? Remember, we're not talking about what's the place value of four, we're talking about what is the value of four. So we have four in the hundreds place value. So the value of four is four hundredths. The next one, the location of four is right here in our hundreds place value. So the value of that four would be worth 400. Let's come across over here. We have seven eighths times five. I know we haven't really learned that yet in fifth grade, but this just gives you a little sneak peek. So to turn a whole number into a fraction, you can just stick it over five. So we have seven eighths times five over one. Seven times five gives you oops, 35. Eight times one, is eight. Now you have what's called an improper fraction. To turn that into a proper fraction, we're gonna ask ourselves, how many times can eight go into 35? And it can go into 35 four times, because eight times four is 32. So that would make us have three left over. We'll talk more about this in class later on. But 35 over eight is the same thing as four and three eighths. Now we'll come down here to multiplication. 837 times six. So we have six times seven, and that is 42. So two, let me carry my four. Six times three is 18, plus four is 22. Eight times six plus two gives me 50. All right, last but not least for Thursday, if one cube equals one cubic feet, find the volume. So we've talked in the past about how we can find volume. Volume equals length times width times height. But another way you could do it is just count the boxes. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in the front, and that means I have nine in the back. So I could just say nine plus nine gives me 18 cubic feet. So for Friday, a group of six students designed 45 tiles for the library mural. If each student made an equal contribution, how many tiles did each student help to create? So this is actually a division problem because you have these six students designed a total of 45 tiles combined. So we're gonna take 45, divide it by six. So six can't go into four. So we have to look at six, how many times can it go into 45? So if I know my multiplication facts, six times seven gives me 42. That's gonna be the closest thing to 45. I'm gonna subtract and I get three left over. So because I'm in fifth grade, I'm not gonna say remainder of three. No, that's not what we do in fifth grade. So I'm gonna use this three and I'm gonna say a whole number of seven. And instead of saying remainder three, I'm gonna put a three over six and I'm gonna get a fraction. But we also know in fifth grade that three over six is the same thing as saying one half. So each student made seven and a half tiles. Now I'm gonna compare using greater than or less than, we've been talking about that this week in class, and have 22 times 30 compared to 40 times 22. So I see that these are the same thing. So the only thing I'm really gonna be looking at is the 30 and 40. So I see that 30 is less than 40. No more alligators eating one larger number. All right, so now I've got 39 hundredths plus 18 hundredths. I'm gonna rewrite that down here to give myself some space to write. 39 hundredths plus 18 hundredths. Nine plus eight is 17. One plus three plus one is five. Bring down my decimal point. Remember, we're just gonna line those up and bring down my zero. 
So my answer is 57 hundredths. And to shade that, I'm going to shade a tenth, another tenth, another one, another one, one, two, three, four, another one, and then seven. 57 hundredths. Our last one says write two terms to describe this shape. So I see there's one, two, three, four, five sides. That means that it's going to be a pentagon. And it's also going to be a polygon. Polygon just means it's a many-sided figure.